Amon, tell me about being drafted today. You're obviously going from uh, California to Detroit, right? It's going to be a yeah. little bit of a little bit of a change. But are you excited about being officially a Detroit Lion? Yeah, I'm super excited. You know, um, to have a chance. You know, to play in the next level has always been a dream of mine. So, you know, I'm glad that the Detroit Lions, you know, drafted me. Um, I couldn't think, can't thank them enough. I'm excited to get to work. I'm um, gonna give them everything I got. Um, but this, to me, is just the beginning of a, of a new chapter. You know the beginning for me to start working even harder um, because, you know, going to the NFL has always been a dream of mine, but once you get drafted, that's when the real, when the real work starts. So I'm excited to get there and get to work. That is for sure. It's definitely going to be work when you get to Detroit. Now I have something special here. Okay. This is, this is your, this is your trading card. Okay. okay. I got this one, but look at what else I got. This is ridiculous. You were on the set. This is, this is as big as me, oh, this yeah, giant sized, this is a giant size Panini trading card. So tell me about the first time you saw yourself on the first look trading card, because I got to imagine it's pretty surreal to look at yourself and go, oh, I'm on a trading card. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty dope. I remember, you know, signing them when I first got them, you know, seeing yourself on a card, you know, growing up, you, you think of, you know, elite playmakers in the NFL. Um, like, I mean, thinking back, obviously, you know, Calvin Johnson, a Detroit Lion, um, you know, I think back Julio Jones, guys like that when I was growing up that I would, you know, think about that are on these trading cards. So to see myself on on one was, was surreal. It was, it was awesome. You're going to have to keep one in a special place. You're going to make sure that uh, your family gets one and puts it up on the mantle because these uh, Panini Prism cards are pretty cool. So you're going to have to have to keep it in a good place, have to keep yeah. it in a good place. But tell Definitely. Tell me what you're most tell me what you're most excited about about going to Detroit because I'm a I'm a Chicago girl. I've spent a lot of time in Detroit. It's a pretty fun place and the fans, man, they're desperate for a great player, desperate for a great team and a receiver. They're excited about this position specifically. So, what are you what are you most looking forward to about Detroit? You know, I'm ex I'm most looking forward to just, you know, being in a new city. You know, I've been out here in in Southern California about my whole life. I went to high school out here, went to USC. So, you know, exploring a new city, get to, you know, live somewhere else. I'm excited for that, um, to give Detroit everything I got, to play in the NFL, to play, you know, to be in a division with my brother, something that's going to be really, really fun to play him twice a year. Um, so I think everything is just is going to be awesome, um, the whole situation. So give me some smack talk to the bro, right? I'm living yeah. for that. Like in the same division, two times a year, you guys get to play each other, like, what what's the chatter going into the week where you guys are playing each other? Cause I got to imagine uh, it's going to be a little smack talk going on. Yeah, definitely. There's definitely going to be smack talk going on. Uh, I'm not sure, you know, what kind of smack talk will be said yet, just yet. Um, I know my family's going to enjoy it though. They're probably going to have to get, you know, a split Jersey with, with mine and his number on that, on that same Jersey, <laughs> but it's going to be fun for my family and all of us, you know, even after the game to get to be on an NFL, you know, football field with him to talk to him, take a picture is going to be something that, I think we've all dreamt for. So you're going to want to find some favorite food items in Detroit, right? You're going to want to locate a couple of places that when you win, you're like, all right, you got to set me up. Like I need this, I need this, I need this. So you can get some bragging rights, right? Yeah. Like that's what you, that's what you got to do to, to your bro to make sure that you're, you're taken care of in Detroit. But I know that, uh, I, I know that the fans are all really looking forward to meeting you and obviously having you there What's one thing you want Detroit Lions fans to know about you? Because obviously everybody's so excited about all their new prospects, but you talking directly to the fans, what do you want them to know about you? Man, I just want, I just want them to know that I'm going to come in, work hard, give everything I got, um, you know, help them any way that I can, whether it's on special teams, on offense, scoring touchdowns, whatever it is, I'm going to come in, work hard, and, and I'm, I'm going to help Detroit win games. I think that work hard ethic – that work attitude is exactly what Detroit needs. That's exactly what Detroit needs. Yeah. So last question for you, what's been the best part of the draft experience so, so, so thus far? Because I know obviously it's been a little different of a year, a little hybrid version of what we got last year, but looks like I told you before, you've been my best prospect because you came in and you were all set up and you're quiet and you got a nice look, you got a nice looking backdrop and you're chilling. So what's the, what's the official draft setup? Cause maybe there's a party going on behind the scenes that I don't know about. Yeah. Um, so I had, you know, it's kind of stressful for me, actually. I had a lot of people come over yesterday. Um, so, you know, today was more relaxed. I had some of my close friends and, you know, my family. So didn't have too many people here today, but I'm glad it all worked out. Um, but, you know, definitely, it was definitely a different draft experience than, than in the past 
with COVID and everything, but it was, you know, being home with your family, I think is something that, you know, I love because, you know, my family is the reason why I'm here today. So just being next to them is something, you know, that I, that I enjoyed. Well, most important thing, you got the most important people around you. Sometimes a little, little, uh, little less chaos is, is for the best. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your, of your draft experience. And I hope you get to show the people of Detroit exactly what they can expect in their brand new wide receiver. So thanks yeah. for, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.